Welcome to Just Eat. I'm Joshua Allen and today we are going to be making a chocolate raspberry cake with raspberry schnapps infused ganache with raspberry reserves between two chocolate cake layers. This base recipe for the chocolate cake is actually taken from allrecipes.com. It's one of my favorites. It's simple. Everything is done in one bowl. You can measure everything out. Wham bam and it's done. So let's get started. Now that we got our cakes in the oven baking away, we're going to start working on our raspberry schnapps infused ganache. So the first thing you need to do is go ahead and get all your ingredients out because once you get this going, you got to get it all. Timing is just as valuable as everything else. So I went ahead and measured out. Um, this is three cups of dark chocolate. This is about 66%. We have one cup of heavy whipping cream. A half a cup of raspberry schnapps and half a cup of butter already cubed. So the first thing we need to do is get our heavy cream boiling on the stove. So let's go get that. All right, so now we're going to start boiling our heavy whipping cream. So first you're going to need a medium sized pot like this one and you're going to turn it on to medium heat and just add in your heavy whipping cream sure you get it all in there. I'm going to grab a spatula. <laughs> Waste not, want not. Here we go. Alright, so we got that. So now we have our heavy whipping cream in here and we're just going to let this sit and just continuously just go across the bottom and make sure it doesn't scald or anything like that just every once in a while, and we're just gonna let it go until it starts to boil. And once it starts to boil, and the reason why you have such a big pot is that it's gonna try to climb up the sides and try to escape. So, definitely you wanna use a bigger pot than what you actually have in there. All right, now that our heavy cream has started to boil, we're just gonna pour it all on top of our dark chocolate. And we're gonna let it sit for a couple minutes, let it start naturally melting, incorporating together. Just get all that out of there. So we're going to let it sit about uh, four to five minutes. All right, so it's been about four minutes now. So we're going to take a spatula and we're just going to start from the middle and we're going to start stirring. All right, once you get to this stage, you can go ahead and start working your way to the outside bring some of those chunks in. Alright, now that we got our ganache all smooth, we are going to add butter. I was originally going to add a half cup of butter, but now that I'm looking at it, I think I'm only going to use a fourth, which is half of that, so it's half a stick of butter. And I went ahead and cubed these up, as you can see. So we're just going to drop them down in here. like so. And we're just going to mix this in the same way we did with the, with the chocolate and the heavy whipping cream. Just work it in and eventually It'll all go smooth, I promise. All right, our ganache is pretty much done. If you hold up your spatula, it should taper off like that and it'll be shiny and completely smooth on top of it. So, the ganache is done. We're gonna let it sit for about 10 minutes and then we're gonna add in our uh, raspberry schnapps and then just let it completely harden, which should be about 30 minutes or maybe uh, 15 minutes in the fridge. 
So we're going to let this sit, then add our schnapps, then come back, and we are going to whip it up with our KitchenAid mixer, or you can use any hand mixer, and we're going to put it on this cake. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes, and as you can see, our ganache is pretty well set. So we're going to go ahead and add our raspberry schnapps. Just add a little bit, add about a fourth of a cup for now. And we're going to incorporate this and make sure that it isn't too much. So. Oh my goodness, this smells so good. Alright, so I added the first one fourth cup of raspberry schnapps and it looks like it's handling it fairly well. So I am going to go ahead and add this other fourth of a cup and mix that in and then we're going to stick this in the fridge and let it sit for, oh, and for about 15 to 20 minutes or until this is set up enough to whip it. Whenever you finish incorporating your raspberry schnapps, it should be about this thickness. It's not exactly running off, so this is exactly what you want. So we're going to go ahead and cover this in uh, plastic wrap and stick this in the fridge. Alright, so I just pulled our ganache out of the fridge and as you can tell it's pretty well hard and set up. So we are going to move this to our KitchenAid and we are going to whip it up. Alright, so our ganache is set up, so now we're going to move it to our KitchenAid mixer to start whipping it up to prepare it for our cake. So I'm just going to take a spatula and try my best to get this off, because it, as you can see, it's pretty thick, which is why we're going to whip it up, because you can't spread this on a cake. Alright, so we've moved our ganache into our KitchenAid, so now we're going to put this down, and we're going to put it on about medium high to get it going, and we're going to whip it up. All right, once, you, once it starts lightening up in color and it's the same consistency and color throughout, you are done. So now we are going to finish up our cake. So, as you can see, here's one of our first layers of the chocolate cake. Um, they've been done for quite a while, they've already cooled completely. And now we are going to take a little bit more of our raspberry schnapps and just a little pastry brush. And we are gonna brush the top of this lower half of the cake. Just to give some more of that mm, raspberry schnapps flavor. And you're just going to do an even layer all the way around. This is going to be so good. And <laughs> for people that are worried about the booze, you could use a raspberry syrup at this point. You don't have to just use the alcohol. You can definitely substitute and make a virgin version of this cake. Alright, once we have our schnapps evenly coated on the bottom half of our cake, we are going to take some raspberry preserves, seedless of course, and we are going to put a healthy layer on top of this before we sandwich it with the other half of the cake. Good. Probably have about a cup on there right now. We're gonna spread that across. Let's add some more. Add about another half a cup. That should be all we really need. All right, so spreading that across. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be so good. And don't get it directly on the edge. Leave about a fourth of an inch. Just so whenever you sandwich it down, it's going to put more pressure and it's going to let it squeeze out without running and we'll let it squeeze down and giving it room to spread. So you don't have a big mess oozing out of your side of your cake. So there we go. We have our bottom half of the cake. So here we are. We have our bottom half of the cake, we've already put our schnapps on it, we've put our preserves, and now it is time to put 
the top half of our cake on. So, here we go. I already have it ready to go, so I'm just going to put this on here real quick. I'm just going to give it a little press down just to get anything that's going to ooze out to let it go ahead and move before we start icing. So I'm going to go over and clean my spatula real quick because we're about to put on our ganache and then we're pretty much done. So excited to try this. Alright, so let's go ahead and take some of our ganache. Goodness, that looks so good. <laughs> Take a good, healthy amount. Alright, so here's our iced cake. And now we're going to take the rest of this ganache and just decorate it and throw in some fresh raspberries and some chopped up chocolate. And we have a finished recipe. All right, here is our finished product. Look how pretty this is. I just did some piping on top of the icing that we already put down, put some fresh strawberries washed, and put some chocolate shavings, and that is it. This is good to go, and you will absolutely fall in love with it. All right, thanks for joining me for another edition of Tasty Thursday here on Just Eat. But before we go, I want to remind you of the giveaway that we're having for my second anniversary. We are giving away two prizes to one lucky winner. One is this Fujifilm FinePix S2950 14 megapixel camera with HD capabilities uh, for video. So, it's awesome. So this is yours to win, along with this jar of handmade vanilla extract with the finest vanilla beans and the finest alcohol you can sip it by itself alone it's fabulous but baking with is recommended these could be yours just go to the link at the end of this video or go to the cannoli entry and be sure to comment and do all the extra entries and you are good to go good luck to all of you